Okay, what's up guys? So today we are finally bringing you the Priest Precision CO2 tank with regulator, hose, and tire pressure gauge. <laughs> We've been waiting to show this to you because we have been using our very own Priest Precision 15 pound candy blue CO2 tank with an un, how would you say, an unregulated regulator. What you've got on ours is basically uh, the regulator goes really high PSI, which is what we don't really recommend unless you know what you're doing in a CO2 tank, which I do not, but I have it anyway. So, today we're going to show you what you get in the CO2 kit that's in the description below and by showing how appreciative we are for you tuning into our video, hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel, you must complete these things, we're going to give this away. So they have to hit also, the like button, subscribe, uh, yeah, yeah. Check, check out more details on our website. We'll put it in the description below. It's confusing. But it won't be once we get it done. Okay. Also, the sponsorship of today's video is Priest Precision. Thank you, Priest Precision, for sending these awesome products. We absolutely love the one we've been trying so far. Probably going to need to outfit the truck with one soon. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about this one. So we're going to show you how to put it all together today. Well, you're going to show them. I'm just going to stand here. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. So, let's talk about a couple of things real quick, guys. So, we opted for the easy kit. This kit does not have a gauge on it. It doesn't have um, a nozzle for your uh, regulator. This is all... What the fuck is that? Look at pterodactyls flying over it. That's crazy. Tiny but loud. So, what we have here, we're going to open this baby brand new. And whoever gets it, no, it's never. It's not even going to have CO2 in it. So what they've done, guys, is they have built basically a regulator that's preset to the PSI to fill tires. This is the one we wanted to give away because it's super easy to use and we don't have to worry about anybody getting So hurt. that's the difference between ours and this one is this yeah. one only will stop when your tires are filled and no. ours won't? No, that's not. This will only let a maximum amount of PSI come out at once. Why do you want that? Because you could use power tools with it or something? You, well, you can use power oh, tools, tools with this one too, um, but with that one you could maybe um, quick inject a tire and inflate it really fast or... Uh, really, I'm not really sure. Potato launcher maybe? Sounds more exciting. That's no, I mean there's... there's def Drop a comment below if you have any suggestions like what you could do with really high PSI from CO2 that's practical in an off-roading mm -hmm. setting. I know there is some torque wrenches and stuff out there that need like 160, but my ARB setup does that. So, yeah. anyway, we're going to go over how to hook this stuff up, everything that you'll get in the kit, once you put it together, what it'll look like when it's finished, mm -hmm. and we can already tell you what we think of the product because we've had the exact same kit in the back of our Jeep now for a month, mm -hmm. and I, I, I'll be honest, I find myself, we have a really nice ARB setup with dual tanks in the back and all this stuff. And I find myself hardly ever using it because it's just so much easier to turn the CO2 on and you have way better PSI and it's quicker. And so I see myself going more and more to the CO2 tank instead of an onboard air system. If you made it this far, you're probably looking for a cheaper alternative to the power tank. And I can't find any reason why you would buy a power tank over a Priest Precision other than they coat the holy living hell out of their tanks with the candy blue paint job which Power Tank does do a really good job. Their candy blue looks awesome. 
these probably leave out a few of those steps of painting so you don't get the sharp dark bold color that you would get with a power tank and I just can't think of any reason other than the paint job of why you'd want to spend all the money um, because they're CO2 the CO2 comes out of the tank it goes in the tank it feels the same it's the fastest all the fittings it, feel quality well, yeah everything. I mean really what it comes down to is uh, the regulator and things like that and Priest Precision has so many different regulators that you can buy um, and so many different options and they all have to follow the same guidelines and codes with for the regulator for safety so you know you're really just buying a name and a nice paint job but we just, just opted for a cool off-road recon sticker this will go with any paint job on your vehicle also it's nice yeah. neutral yeah. I want to put that on this goes on here my no wrist cross is thread. You don't want this to give away if I put it on there. It's going to be a mess. You well, it'll have to it. come off to fill the CO2 tank anyway. This is just for, just for looks. showing purposes, right? So we're going to have something like that. So it's pretty straightforward, guys. This goes on there. You don't need any Teflon tape or anything on there because it does have a plastic gasket. The kit did come with Teflon tape, and I went ahead and put some on there, but the guy at the welding shop said it doesn't need it. Okay. These, you will need to do Teflon tape. And just for the sake of... The fact that we're giving this to somebody and they can do whatever the heck they want with it, we're not going to use Teflon. So, you'll put your end on there for your chuck. And then, this little guy's pre-Teflon taped already. This will go in your Priest Precision uh, gauge end, like that. We'll screw that in. Okay, so you'll thread your chuck end in, and then on the other side, you've got your tire valve stem switch. Your hose will go on your chuck, like so. And why is it missing this piece? I'm going to have to give somebody one of mine. Damn it. Okay, so this is their another one of the regulators, and this one has, um, this is like a safety regulator. But it does have a uh, PSI gauge on it, so you can tell how much PSI is left in your tank. Okay, And this one, uh, basically, it will only let you go to a maximum of maybe 150 or something. I'll have to double check on that. But this would go basically in the same spot, be a regulator for this. They do the same thing. This one just doesn't have a gauge on it. But it does have a hole for a gauge. If you wanted to add your own little handy-dandy gauge, you can. So, what we were just talking about and I'm not sure if the kit was missing it, but um, there should be a screw-on brass fitting there so you can hook that onto your hose. Um, yeah, so anyway, now I will tell you one little complaint that I have, and you can probably see. Look how stretched out this hose is. Um, so what I like to do is I like to just leave my tank hooked right here in the back, and I just used this uh, mount that the kit comes with. And basically just set it on the back of the c-pillar here and then put uh, big hefty zip ties around it so when i'm using my power or my co2 tank i usually come out and i air all the tires up and i stretch it around here and then i stretch it all the way to the front so the hose does stretch that far and i am happy about that but by the time i get back here this hose is so stressed out stretched out and then i like to just tuck it right in here like this but then it closes in the door. However, whenever I first started doing that, you can see, oh, hey, look, there's a fitting. Yay. That's what we needed. You can see the amount of stretch difference. But the folks over at Priest Precision, drop a comment below, please, maybe, or something, and let us know if you have a hose that maybe doesn't hold the stretch quite like this one. But that's something you guys, I mean, you could upgrade or do whatever you want. Uh, but the quality of the hose is really good, and I think the PSI rating on it's like 250 PSI or something. 20 foot braided blue coil hose, swivels 250 PSI with quick connect couplers. Sounds good. Yeah, so. Okay, so this will go on here. And whoever wins this uh, Priest Precision CO2 tank, make sure you take these fittings apart and put Teflon tape on them. We'll give you this little bag of parts with it so you can do that. All right, so once you get that together, it's going to snap right in there. Now you've got your tank hooked up, set up. Now let's put our handle on. Just a big Allen wrench. Here, you want to take down. this part? 
Here, I'll hold it and you can take it. Unscrew it. That's the wrong way. No. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so kind of what we, we what we've done here with this handle, and I think I did mine the same way. Yeah, I did. I I put it where the regulator comes out of your handle, and then that way you'll have this regulator protected by these two metal ribs that stick out. Get this shit done. Screw that in, and you kind of want to work these in evenly. So you want to screw one on one side, and then screw it on the other side for a little while, and and that way. Um, your handle pulls together tight and even. All right. Now, you got your tank. Which, in this color here, it kind of looks like a soda pop machine tank. Which is pretty much the same thing. I'm pretty sure it's CO2. So, so you've got your nice handle. you got your nice tank. You can carry this baby around to the side of your rig. Air up your buddy's tires and uh, you know make a quick release something or another on your rig but it does come with this handy dandy deal which you could hold up put this on the outside and mount your co2 tank on the outside and that fits right in there like that it's got these nice rubber feet on the clasps here and it also has it on the bottom you just pull that across there like that and you can even put a lock on it if you want right on the front and that'll hold your tank, your CO2 tank stable on the outside of your rig, or if you want to mount it on the inside, you can do the same. So, above all, guys, we've been really happy with the quality of the build, the quality of the regulator, the quality of pretty much everything. Also, this Priest Precision uh, gauge is absolutely awesome. It's got an auto off on feature, so when it notices pressure, it automatically comes on, and then whenever you throw it in your tool bag or whatever, it automatically shuts off after a few minutes. I really like that and um, I don't know I just can't justify spending money on anything else because the quality is here with this and so it, say, it says it's made in the USA too aren't yeah yeah, yeah. All, all US made I think the where'd Andre used to live uh, Oregon Oregon I think their company's out in Oregon I'll put it on there we'll, we'll check it out but it's an American made company cool owner and I'm not going to get into too much, but if you want to support people that think like we do, support Priest Precision. Huh. And you know how I think. Everybody so, knows how you think. <laughs> if you want to support a company that thinks like I think, mm -hmm. buy Priest Precision. They're not going to be donating money to some <laughs> horseshit behind the scenes. So, anyway, this is what we've got. If you want more information on how to win this, Priest Precision CO2 tank, please go to our website, www.off-roadrecon.com. Also, this tank will be out on Jeeps on the Mountain. We will have it out there if you want to come by and get your hands on it and grub it all up before the winter gets it. <laughs> come on out. Head on over to our website, and there's no strings attached, guys. You're not going to have to buy anything or raffle or anything like that. If you're a subscriber, check into our website for the information, and you can win this. And if you don't believe it, Watch some of our old videos because we give more stuff away than any small time YouTuber that I've ever seen. We call it small time. We are small time, <laughs> but we're working on it. And thank you for watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you at Jeeps on the Mountain. We'll see you at Jeeps on the Mountain.